Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a paracord dog collar. Essentially, making a dog collar is the same as making a bracelet, it's just that they're larger and have a ring for attaching the leash onto. I'm going to use the cobra knot and I will leave a link in the description you can use to get some practice in before you start this project. It's not that it's hard, it is just better to know the knot before you go ahead and jump into it. As far as supplies go, we're going to need a buckle, some sort of ring, and two pieces of paracord. I've started by attaching the buckle onto my cord, which I've halved, and now I'm going to start lining up cobra knots. This is just like making a cobra knot paracord bracelet, which I've also demonstrated before in the past. So basically we're going to alternate cobra knots onto each side. And after we've done a few, we will want to attach our ring for the leash onto the collar. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to want to place our ring vertically, not horizontally, because this is a lot more secure. And how I usually do this is to start off the cobra knot, then use the working end I'm going to pull through the loop but instead of going through the loop I first go through the ring and then I pass into the loop so basically it's just like making a cobra knot but also inserting the ring in the middle and again the same setup but on the other side I simply pull the working end through the ring and through the loop and then tighten it up and this is a very secure way for attaching the ring I'm going to continue making this collar and I'll be back once I've done the first layer The first layer is complete and this gives you a perfectly functional paracord collar, but it doesn't look as bulky as it could. I prefer if I add a second layer to get the king cobra, which is a, a bit bulkier and also does look a bit nicer. To start off we're going to attach a second collar onto the buckle and then simply to do the same thing we did with the first layer, which is to line up cobra knots using our first layer as the core. And you will want to place these knots into the previous rows. So between two cobra knots you will place a new cobra knot and then tighten it up firmly. We'll do this on both sides, same as we did with the first layer. And again, tighten up firmly. Make sure that your new cobra knots fit in between the previous ones. I 
I'm going to finish this and I'm going to show you the end result now. Okay, I've done the color and I've snipped and melted the ends and this gives you the finished piece. All that's left is to put it on your dog, of course. Thank you.